हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स असलकुम एज यू नो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कम टू नो वाट इज अ सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस एंड वी एंड देन वी डिमोस्ट्रेट देर लीनियर सिस्टम इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म एंड वी कम टू नो वाट डू वी मीन बाई कंसिस्टेंसी क्राइटेरिया कंसिस्टेंसी क्राइटेरिया मीन्स वेदर अ सिस्टम इज कंसिस्टेंट और इनकन्सिस्टेंट एज वी लर्न अ कंसिस्टेंट सिस्टम मै हैव टू सॉर्ट ऑफ सोल्यूशन यूनिक सोल्यूशन और मैनी सोल्यूशन एंड नो सोल्यूशन मीन्स द सिस्टम इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट ही आर नो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर ईच टाइप लेट्स टेक अ सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस x minus y is equal to one and two x plus y is equal to six. We have a system of linear equations which is consists of two equations, two linear equations. To know either this system is consistent or inconsistent, we can easily check either the values for the given system. the values for the unknowns of the given system are defined or not if values are defined then we will say the system is consistent if not we will say the system is inconsistent here we will come to know by the geometrical way either this system is consistent or not we will come to know how can we define a system is either consistent or not by geometrical means to do so let's transform the system of linear equation into well known the slope intercept form so that we can easily check either the system is consistent or inconsistent we can see in the given system we have two equations and we can easily transform these two equations into slope intercept form using one equation one we can easily write this equation as y is equal to x minus 1 we can we know that this is now the y intercept slope form of the linear systems so as you know the general form for the slope intercept form is y is equal to एम एक्स प्लस सी एंड यू नो द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वेयर एम इज द स्लोप एंड सी इज द वाई इंटरसेप्ट एंड हियर वी कैन ईजली डिफाइन द स्लोप इज वन एंड द वाई इंटरसेप्ट इज माइनस वन एंड फॉर द सेकेंड इक्वेशन वी कैन राइट इन स्लोप इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म दैट इज माइनस टू टाइम्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स नो कैन वी नाउ वी कैन ईजली transform these two equations into a geometrical form let's take a x y coordinate system let's say it is x axis and it is y axis in equation 1 we have the slope intercept form that is y is equal to x minus 1 the slope is 1 and the y intercept is minus 1 the y intercept minus 1 means the value is here Minus one y intercept, and the slope is plus one. Plus one means the slope means let's say slope. What is slope? Slope means the ratio between the values of y and the values of x. Simply, we can say rise upon run, rise for the y values and run for the x values. And if the coefficient is one, means the rise and run both are one unit each. One upon one, one means the run will be one, and the rise will be one. The run will be one, and the rise will be one, and so on. So the tendency of the straight line will be in this way. This is L one. This one. And if we come to the second one, this is now. we have the slope that is minus 2 minus 2 means it is minus 2 upon 1 means the rise is minus 2 and the run is 1 and the y intercept is plus 6 plus 6 means it should go over here let's say it is 6 and the intercept is plus 6 and the slope is negative 
that is the more important thing in equation number one we have the positive slope in the second one we have negative slope if the slope is positive we will get the tendency of the straight line in first quadrant and the third quadrant we can see l1 and because it is negative the second one is negative because the tendency will be in in the second quadrant and the fourth one like this in this way we can we can easily uh, state and we can easily describe this form as well how minus 2 as i said minus 2 upon 1 means the rise is minus 2 and the run is 1 means it will move one time to the positive side and it will move downward minus 2 means it will go to the 4 and again it will run to 1 and it will go minus 2 again and so on so if we if I combine these points the line will be like this way this will be L2 we can easily say that the lines L1 and L2 are intersecting at one point. Intersecting at one point means these two line, lines have one common point. And in previous lecture, we told you that if a system of linear equation is consistent, then the defined lines will intersect at least at one point. And if the lines are intersecting at one common point, then we will say that the solution is always unique unique solution or simply we can say only one solution and if the solutions are defined then the system will be the system is consistent let's take another example for the inconsistent system if i take a system of linear equations x plus y is equal to 4 3x plus 3y is equal to 6 let's check either this system is consistent or inconsistent again let's transform these equations into the slope intercept form this will be y is equal to minus x plus 4 and this implies that this one will be y is equal to minus x plus 2 I have divided 3 directly you can easily uh, check by your own okay now again let's draw a x y coordinate system it is x and it is y in equation number 1 we can see the slope is minus 1 and the y intercept is plus 4 plus 4 means above the x axis let's say it is plus 4 and as I said earlier because the slope is negative therefore the tendency of line will be in this way the, the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant getting point this is very important point okay and if I want to see geometrically then I can see the rise upon run means it is minus 1 upon 1 it is minus 1 plus 1 and then minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 and so on then we can easily deduct the tendency of this line will be in this way it is my L1 and L2 the slope the y intercept is again positive plus 2 means this should be over here plus 2 and again you can see the slope is negative the slope is negative means again the tendency of the line will be towards the second and the fourth quadrant so it is minus one again this will move plus one minus one plus one minus one and so on so the tendency of this line will be in this way it is l2 you can easily see that both lines are parallel to each other both lines are parallel which means these two lines will never intersect each other these two lines will not intersect at any point means there will be no common point 
which means this sort of system will not have any solution means this will have no solution no solution means the system is inconsistent the system is inconsistent now finally let's take one example for the many solutions the system is consistent and have many solutions let's have a system of linear equations 4x minus 2y is equal to 1 and 16x minus 8y is equal to 4 again we transform these two equations into the y-intercept form the slope intercept form this implies that y will be is equal to 2 times x minus 1 upon 2 and using this equation if I divide 4 on both hand side then we will get y is equal to because it is negative if we multiply by the negative sign this will be 2x minus 1 upon 2 let's take 1 we can see in equation number 1 the y intercept is minus half minus half means this if it is 1 minus half must lie here minus 1 upon 2 and we can see the slope is positive it is 2 it will run 1 and rise 2 1.5 and so on and we can see that the tendency will be like this this is L1 as I said earlier because the coefficient of the linear x term is positive therefore the tendency of the line will be in the first and the third coordinate in this way and you can see the second line is identical to the first one it is the image pure image so the L2 will be coincide form of the L1 L2 which means L1 and L2 are in superimposed form L1 and L2 are in coincide form which means that for every point of L1 the points of L2 are common so we can conclude that each point of L1 meets each point of L2 which gives us many solutions which means the system is consistent because we are having some solution the system is consistent but this will be having many solutions or infinite solutions infinite many solutions I hope you are getting these concepts. Please, if you feel any problem, do text through the comment box or on WhatsApp group. Also, you can check the uh, video uh, which was entitled Chapter 1, 2. Thank you very much.